Hi there, welcome to this quick run through for my Step Up Your English in 2024 goal setting template. This is a free download, so make sure you get hold of that. But also, if you want to join the workshop, you're going to get extra value as well. So first of all, think about your big vision. What is your overall goal for your English this year? Maybe you want to pass a test or you have a job interview coming up. Or it could be about expanding your vocabulary, moving words from your passive vocabulary into your active vocabulary so you're able to express yourself the way you want and quickly enough in those business meetings and job interviews. First of all, write it down, make it clear but concise as possible. Then think about the SMART goals. We're going to break the big vision down into smaller SMART goals, which stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. So be specific as possible. What is it exactly you want to achieve? Also, you can attach a why about this. Why is it you want to achieve something? And then if you want to dig even deeper, ask questions like, what does that mean? What will that give you? Then you can really get to the root motivation, which is going to be very powerful. Next, we have measurable. How will you track your progress? If it's one big goal, can you break it down into smaller sections? What about the inputs? Can you measure the amount of time you spend doing an activity each day? Next up is attainable. We want to set goals which will stretch us, but not too much. There's this growth zone beyond our comfort zone, but not so far outside that we're going to get demotivated. Next, they should be relevant. These goals should mean something to you. They should have importance. This comes back to the why again. You can attach that significance and purpose to what it is you're doing. This will give you extra motivation when you might not feel like taking action each day. And time bound, of course, this is very important. It could be the end of the year, or you might want to break it down into smaller sections, such as quarters or months or even weeks. So here's an example of the SMART goal. I won't go through it, but you can have a look for yourself. Then we come to the action plan. This is where the SMART goals are broken down even smaller portions or action steps that you can take each day, each week. Also, if possible, put them into your schedule. I think it's especially effective if you can schedule these activities at the same time each day. If you want to form a habit, it's much more likely you're going to to do that if you know what time it is and it's at the same time every day. So for example, you might do something at lunchtime and you know when you finish your work or when you finish your lunch, you're ready to do this activity and it becomes automatic. So you don't have to think about it. You don't have to build up the willpower each time. Next we have the learning activities that you might want to do. There are different things depending on what your aim is. It could be reading books or articles, listening to podcasts, I think is great, audio books, even music if there's lyrics there, watching movies and TV shows. You can have the subtitles on or off, or maybe even alternate between the two. Taking online courses, of course, very useful, English classes. Practicing English with a native speaker or with an advanced English speaker, somebody who can help you practice and help you have that two-way conversation. Writing in English, I think, is very useful. Even if you don't specifically need to write, it gives you the time to think about the structure of the language and it's an output, so it's not all input. And it's something that you can get a tutor or somebody else to check for you. Again, recording yourself, I think, is very useful. If you want to raise the stakes and make it even more impactful, you could post it online or you could send it to somebody. So all of these activities give you space to think about what you want to do there. 
resources that you will use here it could be apps online tools books other materials I've got some other resources down here that you can use but if you're using your own and if the more active you are in the process I think the more likely it is that you're going to follow through with that when it comes to accountability that's what the the workshop and the group is for but if you don't if you don't going to do that then at least you can go to friends or family or colleagues who can give you some kind of accountability so if you say that you're going to do something to somebody else there's more chance that you're going to follow through if you just tell yourself um, I think we are the most easy people to lie to and if you want to make excuses later on it's much uh, it's much weaker if it's just yourself if you've got other people there that you don't want to let down you're less likely to to do that okay so there are a couple of bonus tips here about using a vision board or some tips remember not to get discouraged so that's about it i hope this helps you achieve your english learning goals in 2024 thanks for watching remember to download it below and if you want to join the group there are places left it's going to start next week on january the 15th i hope to see you there take care have a good week